Welcome back to the 45 Home Lab YouTube channel. I'm Zach Perry, here with a video to talk about something exciting that our R&D team has been cooking up. Today we're diving into the new 45 Drives Setup Wizard, a tool that makes setting up storage, creating your backups from your client to your server, and restoring a breeze within a, well, just a couple of keystrokes. So with that out of the way, let's jump into it. So when this was being developed, the main things we were focused on were simplicity of setup and education. While we walk through the setup, we'll see how, you know, this is easy to set up and how it explains each step along the way. The first screens you'll see are the ones are the instructions, the unboxing, adding drives, connecting power and network cables, and the most important step, turning it on. So from there, you're going to open the 45 drives setup wizard on your Windows or Linux system, Mac coming soon. You'll see your 45 drives storage server that's been discovered on your network by the 45 drives Houston broadcaster service, which is on the system. So you're not gonna have any IP hunting, no SSH sessions, just click and go. If for some reason your system doesn't show up, you can still add it manually. So that way there, you're still doing no IP hunting, nothing like that. So it makes it very, very easy to, you know, get up and running uh, in multiple ways. So it's going to install everything you need, ZFS, Samba, Cockpit, and the setup module. So it's super clean. And this wizard isn't just a GUI for convenience. It's built on years of experience from the 45 drives team deploying storage into enterprise environments. We've identified the top perils of data loss that can occur, and we've come up with you know, some of the best practices to defend against them. The first peril this wizard will help you protect against is hardware and storage drive failure. Important data should never be stored on a single drive, including the local drive on a computer, laptop, client, etc. Having data move to a centralized storage server with multiple drives is the first step to really protecting against this. So if you're using the setup wizard your store, to your storage server, strong chances are you've decided to take the first step into protecting your data. Two other perils of data loss are the data corruption and accidental deletion of your data. To protect against these perils, the storage wizard, it's gonna help you set up the storage server using a resilient and modern file system called ZFS, which are big fans here at 45 drives which it's been used for decades in the enterprise space. ZFS has built-in features that can be enabled such as checksumming, data scrubs to protect against data corruption. It's also a copy on write file system, which means that snapshots can be created to help you recover a file that's been accidentally deleted. And this storage wizard, it's gonna automatically enable and schedule these in two features. Now back to the storage drive failure peril of data loss. Like I mentioned, important data it should really never be held on a single storage drive. It's recommended to have multiple drives in the system. ZFS is a volume manager and it can create a software defined RAID. Just speaking briefly on RAID, so RAID involves striping data chunks and parity across multiple disks. So if a drive fails in a RAID array, data is protected and there are multiple RAID configurations that you can set up uh, based on you know, your use case, your data uh, resiliency needs, etc. But we found some standard best practice configurations based on the amount of drives in the storage array. So this wizard is going to identify the amount of disks inserted into the server and it's going to select a drive redundancy based on our best practices for redundancy and storage efficiency. So example of RAID types in ZFS are RAID Z1, which is kind of like RAID 5. This means you can lose a single drive and you can keep running without any sort of data loss. So great, a lot better than just having that single disk. Now RAID Z2, kind of like RAID 6. So this means that you can lose two drives and keep running without any data loss. So if you're running something like, let's say an HL4, the wizard, it's going to actually suggest a RAID Z1 because it knows the drive count and layout. So there's no guesswork. And if you have a larger system like an HL8 or an HL15 with more disks, RAID Z2 can be used. There is an option to have an active backup, which can be checked. This creates a snapshot policy where you can schedule backups um, within the server. So this is useful if you're required to restore your main storage pool fast and efficiently. If you need to roll back an entire file system, it's recommended to have other separate backups as well, either have a separate pool or have a separate server altogether. And we'll touch on those soon. So this will be creating a new pool. So it's going to wipe any data on the disk. So if you already have a ZFS pool and you want to use this tool, that's one thing to keep in mind. Even the best enterprise gear fails, boot drives die, um, media fails, you know, that's just reality. 
But with ZFS and this automated workflow, you've got that, you know, that safety net. Snapshots to protect against accidental deletion, integrity checks to protect against things like bit rot and data corruption, and a RAID array to protect against storage drive failures. Once your system is discovered and configured, the next piece is setting up the automatic backups from the client machine to the server. Protected from the peril of hardware fails is just one side of the coin. We also want to protect against unintended access to your data from others on your network because accidents happen, you know, files get deleted, things get overwritten, it happens. So the server is going to be accessed on the client via SMB, Samba. You'll set up a username and password, give the share name, and snapshots, or the snapshots uh, that we covered earlier will be set up automatically on a recurring schedule. Once your storage server is set up, there are some recommended best practices that can be implemented. Remember, important data should not be stored on a single drive, including the local drive on your computer. Although, although data can be manually moved or saved to the storage server over the network, you know, these things, and sometimes this step may be forgotten along the way, this wizard will allow you to create a scheduled automated backup from client to server. Uh, so that way there, the backups uh, that you have, you're not relying on every user to remember to copy over their files. And when it comes to doing those backups, you don't have to do the entire drive. You can do folders, documents, you know, the projects and media that are important to you. And ZFS is going to handle this through scheduled incremental ZFS backups. And that's really our new 45 drive storage wizard in a nutshell at a high level overview detailing how you can have dozens of terabytes of storage backups restoring data integrity uh, via ZFS and have that set up in just a matter of minutes. So we also have some exciting features in the pipeline as this tool evolves, things like backing up your data to the cloud and configuring offsite replication to another server as for a little bit of extra safety. So what do you think about our new storage wizard? Anything you want to see in the future? If you have any questions, comments, anything at all, you know, drop it in the comments below. Give us a like, subscribe, you know, all that good YouTube stuff. And I'll see you all next time. Thanks for joining me.